All right, everybody, what is going on? It's Nock, and welcome back to a brand new Let's Play. And this is Outer Wilds, which was kindly donated to uh, the channel via LB last week. And uh, really excited to jump into this. I've, I don't know nothing about this game. I know absolutely nothing. So we're going into this completely blind. Um... The only things I know about it is it's got something to do with planets and you go from planet to planet and that's pretty much all I know about the game. Um, other than I am aware that you can do all of the tricks and all the moves and everything, of everything, all of the abilities, sorry, in the game are available to you from, from the start, apparently. So it's a case of I kind of get from that, like, you can progress as... Your progression... Let me let me let speak. Your progression is kind of wholeheartedly based on how quickly and how well you learn different things within the game, which I think is a really, really cool concept um, indeed. Um, now, I'm going to play this on a pad. As uh, the game said, it was recommended to... Uh, best enjoyed on pads. Um... Nice, polite warning to, or a polite public service announcement to everybody here. Um, if you do know anything about this game, please do not spoil. Um, oh, I'll switch pro. Uh, yeah, please do not spoil. Um, I'm trying to play this as blind as I ever do, uh, with all of these kind of, um, with all of these sorts of games. Um, I think it's the best way to enjoy them. Um, but without further ado, let us jump in. I should have actually checked for um, subtitles. Jump in. Ooh! Out to wilds. Wake up. So pretty. Oh, hey, we're not on our own. Yeah, let me just check for. Well, it says text speed is normal, so yeah, I guess that's going to mean that. Um... Yeah. All right. I guess that's going to mean that that's uh, on by default. Okay. Alrighty then. We got jump. We've got a bit of reduced gravity. Looks like we can hold it to get a bigger jump. All right. I don't want to go too far away from camp right now. I guess we're going to want to speak to this person here. This is Slate. There's our pilot, back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. So, it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program and suddenly here you are leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get off this beauty, get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. Um... Alright. Seems fair enough, Deathwish. Sure, you fix the retro retro rockets. That was only a problem one time, and there may be a few times after that. But hey, no reason to dwell on the past, right? Anyway, you need to get the launch codes from Horn Hornfells at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. All right, so we need to go and find some launch codes. Uh, okay, that's for the rocket. So we can't. That doesn't include the official knock random giveaway one, okay? Liking the guitar already. Quite a nice little uh, looking village here, isn't it? Quite pretty. Hey. 
Mika, we got Mika. <laughs> hey, it's you. Slate said you're blasting off in your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you gonna aren't you gonna go into space? Aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. Um Yeah, I'm still going. You better be. It's been forever since anyone launched in space. I really, really want to see it. Really bad. Hey, you want to try out my model ship? Slate says it's just like the real thing, only like less likely to start a fire. Can we? Okay. So we can horizontal thrust. I guess it's a bit basically it's a bit like a drone, right? Ooh. Do a barrel roll <laughs> and crash. <laughs> Sorry. That was just like the time of the turn of the external fuel fuel tanks exploded on re-entry. You'll you'll be okay flying the big one, right? I'm sure I'll be fine. Don't worry, Mika. Everything is cool. Is that like a moon or something orbiting? There's Porphy. Hey ho, Hatchlin. I hear you're leaving us to seek adventure amongst the stars. When you return, let's you, me, and Gosan open a bottle of the good stuff. Um, when you're seeking adventure among one star, actually, the other star's far too away. An iron stomach is the mark of a true Hearth Hearthian, my friend. Our hearty hunger gatherer lifestyle stems from trial and error, but which I, by which I mean our ancestors survive eating a lot of bad things. Well, there's uh, really cool dynamic lighting on this, isn't there? Out to Wild Adventures presents Postcards from Orbit. Satellite camera. This pilot seat used by pioneering astronauts Feldspar is all that remains of our inaugural flight in space. Although it's been argued such a distinction requires a breathtakingly liberal definition of flight, that day will nevertheless be remembered as the landmark achievement in Harthian history. It's got like a, I wonder if this is like the museum that's mentioned on the um, menu screen, perhaps, I guess. Various uh, bits and pieces. More than likely, Mika. <laughs> this projector is linked to our Sky Shutter satellite, which is currently up orbiting Timber, Timber Hearth. Hearth. It's probably what I can see, like, going around. We'll block this in a minute. The satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. See if you can take a snapshot of our village. Oh, that's cool, look. That's really cool. So that camera is just sort of like orbiting the entire time. Hey, Rudy, Ru, Rutile, Rutile, you're basically blasting off on in that thing, huh? Um, I told my odds of survival are statistically quite high. Yeah, the space program certainly come a long way. I should probably thank you for, for causing fewer flash fires than than your predecessors. By the way, good luck with those retro rockets. Hmm. It's the second time the retro rockets have been mentioned. I'm quite nervous. I guess we can't... Uh, can't jump over there, but we can jump over here, it seems. I want to ride the geyser. Marl. 
So it's launch day, huh? I was going to miss you. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it. And the platform those ships launch from is getting old. Isn't it about time you built a new, less flammable one? That big tree in the village would be perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out the space program. Just say the word. Um... Yeah, nice try. We all know you have it out for that tree. What? No, I just think it's the way some, the way, and someone ought to chop it down. You know, specifically me. Haha. <laughs> you think this has to do with the time I fell out of it and broke my arm? That was when you was a hatchling. Hatchling. Who would hold a grudge for that long? All right, crazy. No worries. Catch you later. Have a good one. Knees? 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 Hello there, Space Cadet. I hear you're leaving the crater today. If you meet any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Um, just say hi before I leave. Take care of yourself up in space. At the observatory is this way. I think we've missed uh, chatting to anybody as of yet. Tefra. Hello, astronauts. Oh, if it isn't my favorite troublemaker. I wanted to play hide and seek, but M Moraine won't let us borrow their sig signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? We'll even let you, we'll even let, we'll even let you be it. Ah, uh, yeah, can't play today. Oh, really? But we can't play without signal scope. Play with us later, okay? She's good looking space. I'm gonna say she's like not gonna say anything. That's all we're gonna get out of her. Good looking space. This is definitely the sort of thing I could uh I could listen to for a long time. Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme, singing helps me pass the time. You're leaving the crater. Guess we'll be a little busy without you around to lend a hand. A big water planet, giants deep, that's where I'd go. Why is that? One time, after the rest of the village had left to sleep, and it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire, Gabbro told me about their first trip to the giant to Giants Deep. They landed their ship easily enough in the waves, but couldn't see too far down on account of how murky the water was. I guess, too dark. Gabro wants to see what lay beneath the surface, so they decided to travel deeper. They travelled down and down, but suddenly Gabro couldn't go any further. Um, yeah, tell me more. I will. I was just pausing dramatically. As they were exercising a will of its own, the water was refusing to let Gabro go any deeper. It held Gabro back, almost as if it were trying to protect them from something. And then, in a terrible darkness, Gabro saw it. The tentacle of some hideous beast. Is that all true? Heard it from Gabro themselves. Gabro can be a little fanciful, sure, but they aren't a, they aren't but they aren't a liar. I mean, probably, anyway. I guess if you want to know if the story is entirely true, you can go to Giant's Deep for yourself. Alright guys, Deathwish has left a uh, little present for people in the chat. Anybody want it? Anybody want it? Okay, you can walk if we hold L1. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. What's going on, Doctor's Prime? How are you doing? And this place is uh, quite large, isn't it? Got a flashlight. Hi, astronaut. You know the patch of ghost matter inside the fence? Gossians said it used to be bigger when they were hatchling. Because ghost matter evaporates. It just takes a su su super long time to go away. I hope there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm growing up. 
Ghost Matter is awesome. Um, don't know anything about Ghost Matter. Yeah, I heard touching it hurts so bad it feels like your whole hand's on fire. Try not to walk on it into any unspace, space, okay? That sounds bad and painful. All right, who took the who took the key then? Who took the key? Who took the key? Let us know who it is and what did you get? Danger inside the fence, pocket of ghost matter, a strange and dangerous subject that is invisible to the naked eye. The good news is that you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful. Is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself falling around. Hornfells. Can I look at the camera then? Okay. Pretty cool. <laughs> Crazy was lurking for the key. The zero G cave. Well, it looks like we've got another one dropped. Hey, I thought I might see you before the big launch. Nerves getting the better of you? Um, yeah, I'm natural at this. Is that so? Funny, I seem to recall the first time you strapped on a jetpack, we had to come fish you out of the crater near the South Pole. So listen, there's a little, there's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment, set up down, set up down in the zero G cave and in need of repair. If you're looking for a little last minute zero G practice, head down the lift and into the cave or don't. So long as you're confident, you can go and make ship repair in space. Um, all right. Yeah, let's go and do this then. Okay, get to it and try not to concuss yourself right before the f f first launch. Alright, so we're looking for like a busted satellite or something? Yay! Suit up. Alright, so we can... Hey, tough. Hey, hey, now she dropped down. Um, so you're going in there, in the cave. Hmm. What? No, I'm fine. Great, great and fine. You look fine. Well, you know, I hate that cave, so I don't know why you're making me talk about it. <laughs> now I got hand sweats. Okay. Interesting that um, I don't particularly want to talk about it. So I don't think we can. I don't think we need to worry too much about like landing too heavily here. I think we can. Um, that's okay. That's where we're gonna be, I guess. Okay, so we can uh, Okay, I'm disorientated. Okay, so Okay, so if you lock on then. Okay, 
All right, excellent. I think we're getting this. That's one sorted. Let's try and get in here. bit closer. Where's the... Where's the last bit that's broken? It's all a little bit dark here. I can't really see too much. Can I see? I'm looking for here. Yeah, so my from what from the the very limited things I do know about this, um, you're able to do everything in game straight away. So. It's all about sort of like learning the different abilities that are available. Must be on this arm here, have I? Oh, it's in here, look. Here it is. There we go. Okay, so we're all out. And then I guess we go... I guess it's this way out. I'm all a bit disorientated as to... Uh, where I'm going at the minute. Right, so we're going to go up here. And down here, I think, was it? Yeah. Our suit back. Because we don't need that anymore. Um, let's go back to the top. And talk to our friend over here at the top. Anyone fessing up to using the Steam Keys then? Who redeemed them? Who redeemed them? Nicely done. Of course, it's a little more stressful when you're hurtling through space, but just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. I can see you itching to get off this rock, so go get the launch codes from the observatory and get the get out of here already. Best of luck out there, and hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed now that I've put some put so much time into training you. Got it? All right. Observatory. I like the art style the game as well. It's rather nice. Launch towers over there. Another museum here. Outer Wilds Ventures founding members clockwise from top left. Hornfells, Gosan, Gosan, Slate, and Feldspar. Outworld Adventures. Timber Hearth's first and only space program was founded 
to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system. Felspar was the first Harthian to be in intentionally launched in space. Were there unintentional launches before that then? Um, they completed the first orbit around Timber, Timber Hearth and later made the first of what would become be many landings on our moon, the Atle Rock. This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai. Nomai? An, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with our most detailed look at yet look yet at the Nomai, who appeared to have been covered with layer of fur. Note the decorative jewellery that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in this solar system, we have still have no idea where the species came from or what happened to them. Ow. Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day at last. Hey, buddy. It's the translator tool inaugural flight too. I'm so excited. It's making me nauseous. Just think you'll be able to translate any no, no, no my text you want anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? Haha. <laughs> oh, geez. Don't break it. Ugh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous. And I'm not even the one going in space. How are you feeling? I'm excited. Good. You've only you've only been waiting for this day since you were a hatchling. I can't wait to see all your training pay off. So, what's the dirt? You here to see the new Nomai statue? Nah, just here for the launch codes. Yeah, I get that you're dying to head out into space, but seriously, you've got to see this statue before you go. It's an amazing find. Makes me wish we could see what what a real life Nomai looks like. But I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. This is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know, and for how old it is, it's in great shape. Ah, jeez, I'm a little carried away there. Go on, you have sh ships to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you hear? Uh, you maintain your style dose after two weeks now, which is the longest time you've managed to maintain it. You believe that you learnt now, which is what you've waited for. And as of now, you bake weekly sourdough bread and maybe have a sourdough pizza a day once a week. Nice, Mika. I've always been interested in sourdough, but never really took the time because I'm, and plus the fact that I'm always on it. I used to make bread a while back, but the fact that I'm kind of like always um, on a diet and stuff these days, um, I kind of try, try and stay away from bread as much as I can. So it looks like the um, satellite we just fixed. Your exhibit. The radio tower here on Timber Hearth was built to receive transmissions from our deep space satellite and to this day still houses the first ever photos taken of the entire solar system. These photos are made possible by deep space satellites unusual vertical orbit that carries it high above and below the plane of the solar system. Thanks to recent upgrade the deep space satellite is now responsible for generating the real time solar system map used by our newest astronauts. Alrighty. Watch closely, these balls move on their own. The ground is perfectly level, so what do you think causes this spooky motion? Gravity? The answer is a moon. As it orbits our planet, the Atle Rock's gravitational gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. It's quite cool that, like, it's quite cool, like, I already, like, the level of detail they've put in this. Um,. With regards to um, there's like the moons and things, like the moons are constantly orbiting, and they're just like pulling these little tiny details like across the uh, across this like area here. I find that pretty like pretty impressive and pretty amazing. They've got like little details like this in the game like so early on, then I can't wait to see what they've got um, later on for sure. The strange rock moving around the grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The level-headed among us realise that there must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Garbo, Gabro sorry, claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed, whatever that means. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree the effect is extremely creepy. What? Uh... Um, wha 
want the actual That's just creepy. <laughs> stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. As it grows older, the star runs out of hydrogen and starts to contract. As the star's core contracts, it gets hotter, causing the outer layer to expand. The star has become a red giant. When the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. Star is massive enough. If the star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into even heavier elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravi gravity and then explode in a violent event called a supernova. Based on Chert's observations, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. This crystal was taken from a Nomai ruin in Brittle Hollow. It seems to create a local local gravity distortion and was not the most likely so I use to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out. I guess like we can like do a jump and then oh, wow. That's pretty neat. No my technology brought back from space by astronauts has been a great boon boon to Outer Wild Ventures, allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the Little Scout now boasts a warp retrieval capability that allows astronauts to recall their scout almost instantly. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost to the depths of space. What you see here are part of the Nomai skeleton. We can tell from their skulls that they possess antlers and quite unusually only had only three eyes. That's unusual, only three eyes. I know we have four by looking at the um, the characters we've seen so far, but even still. Nomai body was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The differences in the Nomai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, showed us that Harthians couldn't have descended from Nomayan, Nomayan ancestors. It's not clear whether the no, where the Nomai originated from or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. Hope you guys don't mind me sort of like just going around this museum and like talking to everybody, but I just kind of like really fascinated as to what everything is. Aside from the dwellings and structures they built, the Nomai also made art. This decorated 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 pottery was discovered on Brittle Hollow. No worries, Doctress. Some ancient Nomai art deficits, de deficits, deficits, strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other subjects that can't be found in our solar system, which makes us wonder whether the Nomai originated elsewhere in the universe or simply had vibrant imaginations. Were the Nomai born in so were the Nomai born in the solar system, or were they born among other stars and planets? And if they were, how and why did they come here? These are just some of the questions we hope to answer through further xenoarchaeological expeditions. Peace and no mind writing was essential, was essential to deciphering their unique language. Although the text is linear, no mind text often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. Cassava, we're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction and says, and she says calibrating the device won't take long. Fortunately, the Atle Rock's lack of atmosphere will make, make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. Do you need to search for what though? Do we not get to, um, is there nothing on this side, I guess? I guess not. 
Alright, not to worry. Alright, so... Did we look at this? This looks like one of them fish. The anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to the dark to dark bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark place with minimal atmosphere. It looks like one of those. Um, uh, what's, what do you call them fish? You have those fish that like live in the um, in, like some of the, like the bottom layers of the ocean. Obviously, because they live in such dark climates and dark atmospheres, they've kind of like adapted and um, evolved over time to um, be able to see in the dark. Kind of like reminds me of one of those. Can't think what they're called though. Answers on a postcard. Send them to youtube.com forward slash knock. Oh wow, so this is the solar system. So we've got Brittle Hollow. Wow, we're even like this is this is like quite cool as well. We're like the fact that we're even orbiting the sun while we're doing all of this. This is uh Yeah, okay, so we've got um Brittle Hollow. Giants Deep, The Hourglass Twins, and Dark Bramble. So we've got four other planets, it seems, in this solar system that we can maybe travel to. Um, well, there is some other stuff. It looks like there's some bits and pieces here that are orbiting the uh, the star here as well. She's got the Ember and the Ash Twins here. Over here in Giant's Deep. And then it looks like we've got some like satellites orbiting there. Dark Bramble here, that's an interesting looking uh, planet, isn't it? Some uh, interesting stuff going off over here, but yeah, I uh, quite interesting. Got a brittle hollow with hollow's lantern, it's I guess like a moon, it's like a like the opposite of a moon almost, isn't it? I, I love just like spending time in a game though and like just going taking my time and exploring especially in a game like this where you know like so much time and detail has been put into um, like making it and different bits and pieces so alright let's talk to Hornfells and hopefully get our launch codes there you are, I just finished pre-fire observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. <laughs> and you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with the Know My Translator tool. I confess I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Know My. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? Um... Hmm... I think I'll start with something small, yeah. You prefer to ease into things. That's a sensible plan. More sensible than most of our astronauts tend to be, and that's a fact. Do you think you'll go to the Atoll Rock, then? Our moon would be a safe place to travel to and get your bearings in space, and I'm sure Esker would appreciate the visit. Plus, we don't know what the ancient Noma ruins on the moon are, or why they were why they were built. You could put your new translator tool there through its paces. 
Well then, looks like all that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. All right. I'm ready to die in space. <laughs> Excellent, you'll be needing the launch codes then. Here they are. Best get off the ground before Slate makes any more modifications to your ship, eh? Good luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. All right, we looks like we've got the launch codes. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. So I think it looks like we can talk to him a bit and like to try and find where other people are. Alrighty then. Oh. Why is the know my statue like turning and facing me? Uh oh. Has that just been like recording everything I'm doing? What? Hmm. Okay. I think that things have to, to these additional family members of Outer Worlds without you, without whom we would never have gotten off the ground. Matthew Steinhauer, Ben Etherington, Quirty Oop the Pie, basically someone just gone across the top layer of their uh, keyboard, uh, Jordan Friff, Tom Cummins, Sean, Shark Templar Farrell, Steve Ursel, Ryan, and that's it. All right, to the launch tower. Hey, so, hey, hey, so did you get a good look at the gnome statue? Yeah, it looked at me, it was wide open. Whoa, whoa, the statue was doing what? So its eyes opened and you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around? You mean like a hallucination? Listen, no offense, but are you seriously okay to launch, like, medically speaking? I mean, if you're saying it happened, then I guess maybe it did, but why? Hornfell's tried everything to get that statue's eyes to open, and nothing, nothing like this ever happened to them. I don't think you're going to get any answers from the museum statue, but Gar Garbro said they were, going, they were going back to Giant's Deep. Don't know which island they were on, though. Maybe they'll be able to tell you more. On the other hand, Gabro, you know, Gabro. So maybe you're better off searching for more info on your own. Jeez, no, I'm really jealous if you go in space. Hey, see if you can use our translator tool to find out more about the statue, okay? Good luck and safe flying. What's going on, Am? Hope you're well. Looks so pretty. Hello, astronauts. You going to space today? Are you going to space and never coming back like Feldspar did? Don't worry, I'll come back. That's what Feldspar said too, but they never did. Hornfels be really sad if you don't come back, like how sad it makes them to talk about Felspar. So you should make sure you don't get lost in space too. I will try my best to not get lost, but I can't promise anything. I guess just done a loop, right? It's like you're ready for takeoff. The excitement of a launch is fun and all, but can't wait to get back to working on the new ship. We're working on fixing the autopilot's avoidance system for this one. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Saying my autopilot isn't too great? Is that what you're telling me? then so we are in the ship 
And put the ship's log here. So we can find out different bits and pieces, it seems, about different planets and stuff. Also, this Garbo went back to Giants Deep to try and learn more about the Nomai statue in the observatory. Alright, so we can see, like, the little... I hear that our Nomai are in somewhere on the Atom Rock, but no one knows what no one knows what they are or why they were built. No one texting observatory talks about calibrating some sort of device on the outer rock. Uh, sounds like Esker is still stationed on the outer rock. They've been there, been by there by themselves for a while. Alright, so I think we're going to head to... We'll head to the outer rock first. I think it's probably the best sort of thing to do. Oxygen refill. Spot a tree, walk towards it, enjoy. Alright. Are we ready to launch? Alright, here we go. We are in space. And... I think I see the moon. So, I've got to work out now how to land on one of these things. Alright, so, how are we going to uh, land this? Do we just go down? Is that how we do this? Okay, I, I think I landed. So I guess we've got to suit up. Um, see beyond the horizon, eliminate dark areas, detect hazards, test the environment. We've got health and fuel station. So one thing I don't know yet is Do we actually have, like, hostiles on this? Trees detected. Oxygen tanks refueled. Oh, hey, it's you. Ground Control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Seems lonely up here. A little. I'm in touch with Ground Control. Hornfels and Gossen, mostly. And they radio up to chat now and then. When Ground Control forgets them up here, and they usually do, I launch my little scout at the village. They forget about you? I don't blame them. For one, I don't check in as often as the other travellers, since I'm always in one place. And it's not so bad up here, really. At least it's peaceful and quiet. You don't always get that in our solar system, let alone in our village. Don't go, don't go. Uh, I mean, anything else you want to talk about? Um, what was you whistling? Probably, or actually definitely, the other travelers carry instruments, so they don't bother whistling. You can pick up their music with a signal scope, you know. Best spot, best spot for this is the North Pole. Great reception. 
All right, North Pole is mapped. Marked in red on your mini map, but the outer rock is pretty small, Moon. Really, just go north, you can't miss it. Uh, okay. Lunar outposts saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Sometimes Church comes by to say hi, but G Gabo and Gabro, and you know how... Oh, sorry, Gabro is Gabro, and you know how Rybeck feels about unnecessary spaceflight. Um, aha, very funny. Oh, stars above. You're serious, aren't you? That's just depressing. <sighs> Welcome to Lunar Outpost, which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. When we first started as wilds, travelers used to bring their ships here all the time for repairs. Our spacefaring technology has improved loads since then, but the older ships tend to uh, fall apart a lot, like more than they do now. Using the outposts cut down the number of launches and landings taking place in the village, and also the number of fires. Nowadays, though, it's mostly just me up here, raising saplings from timber hearth and keeping an eye on things. All right, well, we've talked all we can with you. I don't think I need my... Um... I'm not sure I need my... Um... I'm not sure I need my suit on, to be honest, but... All right, so he said about going to the um, North Pole, didn't he? And using my signal scope. Oh, I've got thrusters, haven't I? Eskis signal scope log. Day 48. Still not picking up Ryberg's banjo from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I feel better once I can hear their music. 51. Listen to Chirp. Play for a while's day. Unrelated. Someone should tell Porphy and Gossan their flirting is not subtle and from an aerial perspective. Banjo music coming in loud and clear day. Sounds like Ryberg's doing okay. That oaf. I was worried. Today I thought I heard something strange. I don't know. It was probably nothing. No, it's back in day. Something strange is coming from Timber Heat, Timber Hearth. Okay, I know it's crazy, but from the, the sound, but the sound from Timber Hearth sounds exactly like Feldspar's harmonica. But Feldspar disappeared in space ages ago. It can't be them. It's still here. This is creepy. Maybe my signal scope is broken. I'd better talk to Nice. All right. All right, let's look for some other planets, maybe. So that's the banjo. And that's the harmonica that he mentioned in his log. That's pretty cool. Like when the planets sort of like over, when the planets like intersect each other, they um, kind of like get more of a. They get like a little tune going on. That's pretty cool. All right, so um, we need to explore a bit more here, don't we? We want to um, see if we can find some of those um, Nomai ruins, don't we? Oh. Okay, so we can 
send a scout off. To take like pictures and things, I guess. I wonder if these are the ruins on like the South Pole here. Okay. Alright, I've got some text here. I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator and it, I can hear and follow the signals from the sun. Giants deep and brittle hollow. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye signal. The device's indicator rotates wildly and never points to just one direction. That is a curious result. It's possible the eye has stopped calling out its signal. I see. I am most likely calibrated to locate it incorrectly. Pivot, my apprentice, and I will make some adjustments and try again. An update. Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. It saddens me to posit this, my friends, but I believe this locator cannot detect the eye signal. We would need to build a more sensitive device if we want to locate the eye of the universe. Then we will build it. Don't lose hope. Uh, our search for the eye is what brought us, what brought our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. Okay. Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than the eye signal locator. The Southern Glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample available space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed locator. Yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend Conoy would enjoy that immensely. He's always held a great interest in the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. I will begin construction on Brittle Hollow's South Pole immediately then. Okay, so we need to go to Brittle Hollow at some point. Anona and those of us originally stranded on El Ember Twin built a quantum moon locator there, but the heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend building that on that planet. Okay, so that's like branching off from that building that other one. Okay. Was there... I don't think there was anywhere else we could take out that scroll or anything, is there? Oh, we can take it out, okay. I wonder though if we remove that from there... No, we can't um, place that somewhere else. I don't think there's anything else for us to look at in here at the moment. Oh. Okay, wow. Wow, I've seen this ruin in other travellers' pictures, but seeing it for myself, it's really old, isn't it? But wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Okay, um, time for some official notes. So this is some kind of no my locator. It can point out the different planets, which is incredibly cool, by the way. But from what I, from what little I can understand of the writing here, I think it was built to try and find something specific, which is the eye of the universe. I think it said. I'm not sure. I was. I'm not sure. I was also able to translate something about the South Pole of Brittle Hollow. So I'll fly there to see if I can learn more. Yep. Yeah, just going to get back in the old ship and take off. Totally safe. Mostly safe. Oh, stars above. All right. All right, Miko, no worries. No worries. Brush them teeth well, my friend.
All right, so this is like some sort of some sort of locator. This one just seems to make the circle spin erratically. So which is the one for... I can't remember which is which now. Which is Brittle Hollow? I guess these icons all... are all to do with a certain um, planet, right? So at the minute we're on the one with the star... that thing that's interesting <laughs> you'd already died shocked it's on such a shallow we're gonna go through the star yeah it does Hmm. Alright, so Brittle Hollow is basically that one over there. So this is not Brittle Hollow. Oh. I think I crashed the game. We crashed! Alright, we're back. I've got this right, this one should line up with... The next Brittle Hollow is... Over there somewhere. Huh. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit confused at the minute.
And by a little bit, I mean a lot. Very. Anything else to say? No. Oh, what the hell was that? Um. Ooh, what just happened? Um, that dream is something you still look half asleep, but that's a negative on being deceased. The nurse tradition to sleep out under the stars the night before a launch, but if you ask me, it makes it all a bit jumpy. What? 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 What just happened? Uh huh. So wait, are we on like... <sighs> hey Doctress, thanks for the hydrate buddy. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you can marshmallows. So we died. Alright, but does our, like, sh does our ship log and everything update? Yes. Al says Gabro went back to Giant Steep to try and learn more about the Gnome My statue in the observatory. Right, was Gabro is Gabro still on this planet? Can't remember. Very similar to Timber Hearth used by our wild adventurers to train new astronauts as repairable. Yep, all right, so we've done all this. No my device created to pinpoint the source of distant signals, and OMI were disappointed by their failure to detect a signal from something called the Eye of the Universe. Ryback headed to Brittle Hollow to investigate something the Nomai were working to at the South Pole. Alright, so I think we should probably head like to that way. Now I decided to build a larger and more sophisticated island signal locator on Brittle Hollow South Pole. Yeah, so I think we need to head to Brittle Hollow next then. Because, hold on.
because I don't know. It did. Um, I can't remember if Gabbro is here or not, though. That's the thing. We got quite into marshmallows this year because um, we bought a fire pit when we did like all of the. Um, we built, we got a fire pit and out in the garden, so we was like doing a lot of marshmallows and stuff with the kids. Proper big marshmallows as well. Sorry, me, I don't want to talk to you today. I'm sorry. I made all the instruments, you know. Let me see. There's church drums, Rybex banjo, and Gabbro's flute. And Feldspar's harmonica course. So Feldspar's been missing for a long time. Something. Sometimes it feels like just though they were playing their harmonica around a campfire. Anyway, you hear music in space. That'll be the one that the space programs others travelers. If you like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down. All right, so yeah, obviously Gabbro isn't here then, if that's the case. Gabbro is somewhere else. All right, so. So far we've got lots of, um, lots of different avenues that have just opened up, lots of possibilities. We can go out uh, exploring. So what like just happened there is almost like there's like the um, they talked about the star dying and it causing a supernova, right? That was don't know possibly what just happened there. Moving to be doing okay, but they've probably been alone on the moon for too long. Look out platforms, protected with so Eskers use the signal scope here. Keep tabs on other travellers. So should we head to Riddle Hollow? Giant's Deep is where Gabbro is. All right, so let's go to, we are going to go to Brittle Hollow. That is where we're going to go, which should be the next planet along. Do a barrel roll, do a barrel roll. And stop before I get dizzy. See, there's that thing over there. Was that like another star dying off in the distance? So that, hold on, that, that thing that I was like watching, that I said was like intersecting the star. I wonder if that's what's like causing the, what, or what caused the, um, I wonder if that's what caused the, um, The, the star to like blow up or if that's what just happened okay I'm going in far too hot here Thank you. 
Uh, okay, I'm nowhere near Brittle Hollow. This must be Brittle Hollow over here. We're heading to the Banjo. I hope. Okay, so I think it's it's fair to it's fair to say I'm not too good at flying at the minute. He's got all the airboats. Alright, I need to like really seriously slow it down a bit when I get near. So we've matched velocity. Can we go in for... Uh... Alright, we're coming in. Alright, we have landed. Oh. Okay, that wasn't there before. Alright, let's uh, suit up. So is this the... Um So the blue was the South Pole before, right? It's an unidentified signal, though. That can't be too good. Ah. Uh. Oh, yikes. Um Ooh, I just sort of floating in space. What is this? Oh, I guess this is a thing I need to fix. Possibly. I have a feeling though here I'm going to run out of oxygen relatively quickly.
Do I do anything with this? Ah, okay. Trees detected, oxygen tank refilled. Okay. Uh, what have I got myself into? Welcome to the White Hole Station. If you fell through the back black hole by accident, don't worry, you aren't the first. This warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. A tower's warp can only be used during the brief window when the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body, in this case, Brittle Hollow. If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happen when the astral body is directly overhead. You must be standing on the warp platform on the floor during the alignment to be warped. Okay. Okay, so I guess I gotta wait until like this. Okay, yeah, I guess I gotta wait until that is um, in place there then I guess. Maybe. Ember Twin Projection Stone. What's going on, Leo? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Done did a thing. He's got to stand here at the right time when that lines, yeah? Yeah. Alright. Okay. We are... Kind of back here on Brittle Hollow. Not kind of, we are back here on Brittle Hollow. Turn warp status charge. Step on the warp receiver platform to activate return warp. Departure time and arrival time. Wait, the arrival time is before the departure time? Ha. Huh. Interesting. Elspar's spare jetpack fuel. It's annoying to shelp across the planet to the ship if I can't use my jetpack, so I'm leaving this here. I checked with my little, little scout. I do I do to use it. Hornfell's your burnt marshmallow. And the scout's integrity reading said this piece of brittle hollow is stable as any, but who knows. If the all's still around, feel free to use it. If not, well, wherever you're reading this note, I'm sure you've got bigger problems. Well, we don't need that just yet. The Hanging City, 50 meters below.
So we've got this projection stone, but I'm not really sure what um, to do with it. Interesting game to watch other people play. Have you played it yourself, Leo? I assume. To our friends of Brittle Hollow, I just walked here from the White Hole Station on the other side of Brittle Hollow's Black Hole. Our design worked. We successfully re recreated warp travel. I don't know how close it is to Anoa's original design, but as long as what we've built works, then I'm delighted. I knew we could do it. Cas Casava, I hope you're reading this. Wait, this can't be correct. Clary, have you seen these readings? If they were accurate, they would violate causal, 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 casual, casualty, casualty. Jeez, there must be an equipment error somewhere. I'm returning to the Whitehall Station. If you and Root meet me there, we can run full diagnostics and hopefully locate the problem. Don't tell Cassava. This is wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower, although it's been a long time since I've jumped through the black hole. Yeah, I wonder if we can like take those logs as well and like relocate them to other places. That's um something ah okay so we aligned something there also put it there so I'm wondering okay I'm guessing then there's more than one of these Oh. Ah. Okay, so that took us somewhere else. So that's like another like another warp place kind of thing. That's like some sort of puzzle. I'm going to do, um, I'll, I'm going to start a, a giveaway thing in a minute, Doctress, so uh, just bear with us. Alright, so it looks like it's like taking us to a... Uh okay, but we can't go... We can't go outside of that. That's why I'm guessing there's like another one of these to take and we would have like the projection stone. Ah, there's more right in here, okay. Rami and I reviewed the records you sent, Poke, and they appeared to show Nomai arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before departing from the... Okay, so this is what I said about the um, arrival is before the departure. As I've already told Raimi, these measurements can't be accurate. How can Nomai arrive at Brittle Hollow before he or she has ever stepped into the teleporter? The implications are absurd. Poke, as Pi, Poke, as Pi is confident the reading is inaccurate, she kindly helping me to attempt to recreate the phenomenon at the High Energy Lab. We're designing an experiment to take more data. An update. Poke, the High... Update. Poke. The high energy lab is in the canyon of Ember Twins Equator. Come here at once. You need to see this. I don't disagree. I would it would mean I've inadvertently broken several fundamental theories regarding this universe. We would have to reconsider all our beliefs about the nature of time. Yes, I hope so too. Um death to talking about it there I understand it's exceedingly odd but Cl Clary and I have tested and retested the equipment and the result is the same very t same every time someone warps the interval is incredibly minuscule roughly one hundred hundred thousandths of a second do you suppose our instruments can't accurately measure time to such a small degree hmm. okay Mika with the gift sub to Leo. Leo, welcome along to the community of purple badges. 
enjoy that um, knockers emote you can use anywhere on Twitch. And uh, yeah, thanks Mika for uh, sharing the love, buddy. Appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. And enjoy. Enjoy those perks. And that ad free view in for one whole month. It's interesting. Three minutes of oxygen remaining. Alright, so. Let's find a tree. We just maybe need to find the ship. I keep forgetting, you know, I've got a freaking... Freaking jetpack on, haven't I? Uh oh. Um, I'm going to do a, a thingy, actually, Death Wish, if you want. How do I end up on Mickey Mouse face on my watch? I will never know. Hmm. All right, no worries. You're lucky I'm in a time loop because otherwise I'd be super dead. And you're lucky I don't have to ground you grounded for mega reasons because I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, there's, um, there's some shenanigans going on here for sure, isn't there? Still don't quite understand what the whole thing, you know, what is what is actually happening. It's like we're on a time limit. Which is weird. Freeze time while translating text. Freezes time while reading translated text. Freeze time when talking to others. Okay, so it looks like we can, looks like we get like some different abilities here then, which will like help to speed things up. Which I guess if we are on like time limits and things, um, if we're uh, yeah on time limits, then um, I guess this will all help us along the way, which is pretty interesting. All right, so we didn't find Ryan, but on the Northern Glacier, North Pole, Brittle High is covered in snow and ice. There is a uniquely shaped ruin on the surface. And there was a warp here from the Whitehall Station. This is where they first re recreated warp technology. 
there's more to explore here. Okay. Still not found Rybeck though. Negative time interval measured at the Whitehall station was further investigated at the high energy lab in the canyon at the Embers Twins equator. Um, every Nomai warp tower is turned into a specific astral body. To use a tower, you must be standing on a warp platform during the tower's alignment with its corresponding astral body. The alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. The Nomai noticed something strange. Warped objects appeared to arrive at the receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before they departed White Hollow Station. This negative time interval between an object arriving and departing was incredible minuscule, roughly 100 thousandths of a second. The Nomai were skeptical if their equipment could even measure time to such a small degree. <laughs> Deathwish hating. All right. Time to lift off again. Leo is our latest winner here. Congratulations. Enjoy the steam key. I want to head back to Brittle Hollow, I think. Let's check which one that is. Um... Ow. Whoops. Whoops. I think I finally died. I think I finally died. <laughs> Whoopsie. I don't think there's much to be seen there. With regards to that death. Alrighty then. So we've all the excitement done and dusted. Alright, so now we gotta So we, we wrecked our we wrecked our ship. So we've got to um head back. Or is it already fixed? Maybe it's already fixed because we travelled back in time. I guess so. All right. Let's look for here we are. I'm going to be over here. A little puzzle game. Oh, yikes. <laughs> I think we ended up in a, uh, a big molten lava mess right there. All right, I need to be a bit more, um, I think I need to be a bit more careful with things here. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that like lava moon to kind of um, like creep up on me like that, if I'm honest. Took me a little bit by surprise. You have a ton of adult games. Uh, 
I don't know, maybe maybe give it like a maybe like make give it let it be up to people whether or not they want to choose them or not. Okay. I think I um I think I broke some stuff. We all good? We're all good. Alright, so let's head off this way this time, maybe. Okay, we have some more text here. Bloom, Felix, and I have determined that an atypical shard of rock is the reason objects in this grove are behaving in a quantum manner. The only other object we've observed displaying this quantum behavior is the wandering moon. I imagine the moon's behavior and this grove are related. In her note from earlier, Felix, it's not Felix, Felix mentions this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere on Brittle Hollow. What is it originally from this? What if it isn't originally from this planet? Hypothesis, the quantum shard is from the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it's even a small piece of the moon itself. Of note, a unique signal is coming from this shard. Yeah, we picked that up before, didn't we, when we was here the first time. Curiously, our friend, the Wandering Moon, sounds the same. All right, well, that, um, that to me would sort of suggest um, it's a piece or a shard from there, then. Man, I gotta be careful of those frickin' these volcanoes like on that moon or whatever it is. It's quite like uh, lavish in there, doesn't it? Okay. If we can get in there, we can probably investigate it a little. Whether or not we can get in there, though, I guess. Beneath your feet lies the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, descend the steps to the entrance below. The knowledge held within will help you on your journey. All right. Let's get down here. This is uh, 
This is something. There's trees in there, but I don't think we can... They look pretty dead to me. Southern Observatory is 550 meters south. Entrance to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge below is 90 meters below. Okay. Okay, so we can change the um, elevator here, it seems. Oh, wow, this, this is something. I like put the scout in there. Okay. What is this portal? PlayStation exclusive, is it, Mika? Be welcomed in this place. Above you stands a tower of quantum knowledge. If you are making your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. Oh. Oh, so this is like the... Um Okay, so this is a bit like the shards then that was in the museum. But it kind of looks like it's broken unless we can somehow make it move. Crossroads. Oh boy. This whole place just looks like it's like falling apart. It's mad. Oh, there's a black hole. I think that's the black hole we fell into before, isn't it? Hey, we found Rybeck. Excellent. Oh, you launched. That's great. Great job, you. Well, I guess this means I've been out here a while, huh? Well, um, this is Brill Hollow, but you probably knew that. Lots of history here, it's great. What are you doing here? I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in the solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see their what their civilization was like? Only, you've probably heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody that I'm out here. Do you want to know how I even got this far? I fell, tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck I landed somewhere Somewhere my little scout says is halfway stable instead of being sucked into what's below. 
I've been gauging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout and this seems to be the place with the best surface integrity so I'm going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. But that's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me blather, did you? Heh, that'd be... yeah. Uh, okay, so I learned something. Oh cool, what is it? Actually, never mind. Oh, okay. If you do find if you do find learn something new about Nomai, though, I'd love to hear it. Um, if you don't mind, I mean, where should I explore here? Oh wow, where shouldn't you explore here? Um, not the black hole, actually. That's very no. Which is unfortunate because the most exciting stuff here is all below the crust, including the Hanging City. That's just to the north. You can kind of see it from here. There's also this big dome on the South Pole called the Southern Observatory. You can't get inside from the surface. Trust me, I tried. But if it's like the rest of Nomai structures here, there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. Good luck with exploring. Um, if you learn anything about the Nomai, I'd love to hear it if it's not too much trouble. Me? I'm an archaeologist, remember? Or um, the archaeologist, I guess. Seeing as I'm all timber hearth Scott right now. Brill Hollow is rich with Nomai history. That's why I'm here. The planet is an absolute treasure trove of culture, history, and science. If you have any questions about Brittle Hollows, Nomai, in I am your Hearthian, Hearthian. or um, I have some knowledge of them. I mean, so maybe I can help. All right. Um. Yeah, Rogan's made some more. Um, made some more uh, Portal Two maps. I've seen that as well. You think Rogan played CBT and lost their mind? If only it was that simple, Mika. Things just been like falling. Okay, so I came from that away. I want to go west, which is that way. So let's reverse the thingy here. Nope, I can't do that. I mean, I suppose it doesn't really matter because this just takes me back to here anyway. Okay, so if that does that... Another Steam King. Death Wish is on fire. He's on fire! Alright, so can I get into here from like around this direction, I wonder? Okay. Put some more dead boys down here. I mean, I'll be brutally honest, that doesn't look very helpful at the minute. Unless that's just going to fire me off. Hmm. So it's like I'm going to like be fired off in like certain directions. I'm not really sure I want to be using this right now. That doesn't change the direction of that, so I think we'll leave those ones B for now. Uh, 
Um, I think it's a bit of a bit of everything. Um, Twitch has kind of got it as an adventure, open world puzzle indie game, indie action game. So, um, I think there's a bit of everything here, Mika. I think there's definitely an element of the puzzle side of it, though. Definitely, We've got to uh, use our brains to. Uh, Get past certain sections and understand what's going on in places. So I wonder here. Okay, I don't want to touch that though. If I, if I can go up there, I don't want to touch this wall. Hmm. Right, well I can't go that way. That's fine. I'm not sure how I can like go. Down the other path. And now we're in the black hole. Oh, um. Okay, somehow I ended up in my ship while going through the black hole. Pretty sure I should have ended up in the um, station. Leo's looking as confused as I am right now. Must have been. Hold on, is this all? Is this all debris of like the f the the city? Let's have a look at the log. It's got the quantum shard, tower knowledge, we found Rye Burke. And there's more stuff here about um Right back to Sarah Camp at the bottom of the crossroads, the excitement of being surrounded by so much know my history is matched only by their terror in the black hole. Rybeck, Rybeck is Timberhearth's Timber only archaeologist. They overcome their fear of space to explore Brittleheart's treasure trove of Nomai culture. Rybeck says, You can't get to the observatory from the surface, but there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. Yeah, okay, so we need to. I think we need to go back down there um, when everything resets. And. We need to work out how to use like the um, the uh, like elevator type things properly. I think that's like key. Tower located on Brillhaus Equator held useful knowledge for the Nomai embarking on their first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon. Yeah, but we can't get in there at the minute. Um. Strange rock shard that wanders when no one is watching. No my depends that this shard is the reason objects in this grove behave in a quantum manner. So this is the strange this must be the same rock that we that we saw in the museum, right? Back on um, our home planet. 
the Nomar hypothesize that this that this shard is actually a piece of quantum moon. The shard emits the same signal as the quantum moon. More to, so I don't think we've seen the quantum moon yet, but it'll be interesting to see once we if we go back to our um, our own planet. If we use the signal device, maybe on the um, if we use the signal device on that shard that's in the museum, maybe we'll get like a signal and we might be able to use it or something. Hmm, I don't know. I'm just speculating, of course. Um, is there anything else here that we haven't looked at? There's more to explore at the Northern Glacier. And we've not found the high energy lab yet. Use no my city just to the north of Rybex campsite. Okay. So we've got sort of quite a bit there on Brittle Hollow to um, have a look at. So we're actually this is actually upside down. Did just wonder if we could like interact with that in some way. But it's not looking like we can. Okay, um, see, they're just, I think they're just rock pieces that have fallen off, aren't they? Alright Mika, no worries. See you later buddy. Thanks for hanging. Appreciate it. Kind of looks like the Northern Lights. Hold on. Over there. My ship's just like floating off into space. <laughs> oh dear.
Uh oh. Uh oh. Giant gas star goes boom boom when you touch it. Well, giant gas star doesn't, but I go boom boom. So I'm guessing what happened there was um, that was like an asteroid or something. And I'm guessing there's like not enough of a gravitational pull to keep myself and like the ship on there. Also, that's interesting. Did something just like blow that up? That blue thing that was like flying away there. Hmm. All right, let's, um, I want to go to, I'll go to the museum quickly and check out some stuff and things. I just want to go and have a look, another look at this rock. It's like quantum rock. Sun shouldn't be so greedy, man. Did I go up here? I don't think I, I, don't think I went up to these places before. No. Alright. So there's no more ruins to the east. Quantum Grove Crater. Giza Mountains and the Young Bark Crater. And that's just teaching us how to use the scout, I guess. I wonder if there's like areas we can. Oh, I'm going to get majorly distracted now. I wonder if there's like areas that I can fire the scout into. So, smoke coming from the Young Bark Crater up north and figured I should go check it out. You can use a scout launcher, just don't break it, please. Smoke from the crater, okay. Which was this way? No, I think it's this way. So, it's a smoke coming from the crater. Okay. Shouldn't have held that. Didn't really see there what was going on in the crowd. So like a ship crash landed? I'm guessing I could probably um I'm guessing I could probably get to there now. Uh, what are you talking about, Deathwish? Into death. Thank you for killing us. I guess that's one of the deaths you had. All right. After being... Hmm. See, that's interesting. That went a different way that time. Hmm. All right. 
Uh, no, I haven't jumped in the geezer hole yet. I think I was like trying to do it before, but. Yikes. <laughs> Gone in 60 seconds. I wonder though if you could use that as like a way to fast travel up the mountain sort of thing. So, I'm guessing there, though, there must be some way to, there must be some way to breathe on the water. So I guess there's something there. Anyway, let's not get distracted by shenanigans. Let's go and do what I came here to do. Do you know what? I'm making this harder for myself, though. I should have probably just gone onto the ship first and got the... Um, if I put my suit on, I'm guessing I could have like gone up the other way. Just a hunch. We didn't talk to this guy before. Oh, hmm. Oh, hello, astronaut. This is good weather for your lunch, right? That's lucky. What are you up to? Using my signal scope to pick up sounds from distant planets. I set to the outer world's venture frequency so I can pick up the traveler's music. Last night I heard Ryback's banjo coming from Brittle Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. I can hear different planets too. It depends on what time of day or night it is, since different planets are in the sky at different times. Signal scopes are cool. I wonder if... Is there a way... I wonder. Sorry, I don't know why I'm going with that conversation. Um, hmm. Um. I don't know how to, like, change the frequency manually, or even if that's possible. Oh, hello, somebody else here now. Hey, look at this. The statue opened its eyes. Bet you wish you'd have seen this happen, huh? Hmm. Me too. I'm not even a little, cl I'm not even a little close to understanding what's going on with this statue. Was there something you needed? So, I can't do anything with that. Okay, so that was, um, was a bit of a waste of time. So, yeah, it's almost like, although we're looping, although we're looping, I 
although we are looping. What? Although we're looping, we're not looping. What I'm trying to get to, like with the statues and things, the fact that the statues' eyes have opened and they're now like open for everybody to see, sort of thing. I know where I'm getting to in my head, I just can't express what I'm trying to say very well for some reason. So yeah, I think in future, if I was to put my suit on first, then come back down, I could probably just go up there. Um, there might even be like a... There might even be like a quicker way to jump to the observatory from up here. Thinking about it. Possibly, maybe. Doing up there, I wonder. Right. Anyway, distractions. Um, where to next? That's the big question. Never question things, just do them. Alright, so... Where was... Where's the smoke coming from? I thought it was coming over like from here, from where the crater was. Oh no, don't do that now, my SQL. What are you doing? Take me back to my game. Alright, well, there's some weird like. Is it possible to like land on here? In here? No, I didn't crash the game. I didn't crash the game. Mining site to B. Yeah, I'm getting getting used to the. I think I'm starting to get used to the uh, flying controls. Slowly, slowly. For some reason, this kind of like reminds me of um, Avengers Tower, I don't know why. See, I want to see if there's a way through the waterfall, but then I don't want to like...
I don't want to just like die if I don't make it. <laughs> All right, so I might be able to like fly across there. I don't think there's any going to be any point to it. Sure. All right, let's go back to the uh, the mining site then. A lot of like dead bodies and stuff. I guess they're the. Um, okay, I'm gonna need my need my suit here, aren't I? Right, let's go put reset. I I didn't put my suit on because I thought you know what I could probably I don't know if like the suits needed to breathe in on certain planets or if it's just simply for traversing. But I kind of took it off because I thought well. Being on my home planet and stuff, there's probably not much point in uh, in it to breathe. But I guess you know we can have it for this sort of thing. I think I got lucky there. Thanks for that thought, Deathwish. Still amazed by how much ore the Ash Twin project requires. Isn't this the ore from the remaining towers being built on Ash Twins? The completed towers I've seen are quite large. No, the material for those towers is all being taken from Ash Twin. The ore we're mining here will be used to craft an immensely thick protective shell that will physically seal off the chamber inside Ash Twin's core. If they're sealing off all entrances, I hope they've planned a cord a, oh dear me. Accordingly. Jeez. Uh, I'm relieved by our clan's decision to use timber timber hearth's ore for constructing the shell. If eventually life on this planet were to evolve to the point of advanced metal metal metallurgy? 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 I'm confident we won't have destroyed their ability to create. I thought you had forbidden your apprentice from making puns, Collius. How else would he improve? Okay. Alright, so that's the bit I just failed right there. Ooh. Okay, so we've got another one of these projection stones. My gratitude for the la latest shipment. Oh, oh no. Oh no? This ore should be the last we'll need for the Ash Twin project. Once we finish the shell that seals off the central chambers, we'll check to ensure there are no longer any physical entrances. 
Rami and I will be checking the interior and then the exterior for cracks. Our final safety check. This is exciting news. Can I offer an extra set of eyes for the final check, specifically mine? If my work here is complete, I would be delighted to help. We'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better, as the smallest flaw or opening in the shell that protects the Ash Twin project could lead to disaster. Right, so I think that was just to... These ones must just obviously yeah, give us the information of the text. I think that's where I was getting, maybe getting confused um, when we had this before. And then this one will take us somewhere else. Hmm. Yo! Patchy, what's going on? How you doing? Yeah, you see, we can't... As with the other place, we can't, like, walk out of this area. through so I wonder if it's like telling me well I'm guessing at a guess we probably have to like illuminate all of these to find something else that's going to happen so is that the field of vision getting smaller or is it just me I think it might just be me all right well it's uh it's interesting Vibes. Yeah, I get those. That's just going to lead us down to using that again, isn't it? I think those like heat signature things there are just the um, where the geysers are erupting. So you're absolutely shattered. Um, I'm all good though, thanks, uh, Mikey. I'm very well indeed. Thank you very much for asking. What you been up to? It's got you so shattered, buddy. You been uh, busy streaming? So, oh shit! Um, I'm still like a little bit confused as to where that all that smoke was coming from. Oh, there's one of them rocks, 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 rocks. Hold on.
Um... Sure, that's not how I um, landed, but sure. Um. Cross old bark in the ancient glade, the quiet shade is always dark. Yeah, I've had that before. Just like, busy day, falling asleep. Signal identified is Grove Shaft, so the frequency discovered is Quantum Fluctuations. Oh my, um... Do we, do we maybe want to talk about this a minute? Okay. I mean, is that my cockpit right there? Um, I, th I think my, um, I think my ship's completely gone. <laughs> All right, well, we're walking. Looks like we are walking. something over here. Did anybody just click that or not? Church research notes, property of a chert. I've det detected a strange signal coming from somewhere within the grove in this crater. It's very similar to the signal emitted by the quantum moon, so it stands to reason the two signals are probably related. We don't know much about the quantum moon, seeing as no one's ever been able to land on it, but hopefully studying the signal in the grove will reveal more about it. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I I don't know if you can go back on the. Um, you'll be able to go back to the VOD. I don't know if you can create clips f directly from the VOD though. That's the only thing. So wait, have all the...
I'm guessing all the moons have probably, or all the planets have got like one of these quantum rocks on it, I guess. Alright, so. It's time to think. And maybe, um. A little bit in troll here. Unless we can somehow make it back to... Smoke's coming from here, look. So, wasn't even in the right place anyway. Oh, well, I guess uh, today is not the day we're going to find out what this is all about. <laughs> ha okay so what, what I'm interested in now is does the um, I'm assuming now that I've found the new signal for the quantum moon that stays in place right Man, we did a lot in that day. We did a lot in that day. Yeah, so the the signal's still there. So yeah, that was um, a pre that that, that was uh, an unavoidable death, though. To be fair, Atom, there uh, wasn't a lot that I could have uh, actually done about that. If I'm completely honest. Hey, where's my? Where'd the launch codes go? Yeah, sorry about that, you know. Supernova. I haven't, I haven't quite learnt the uh, the button combo yet to uh, do the supernova. Alright, so yeah, the what I was kind of like trying to hint at there was, or what I was kind of saying was, um, the launch code was interesting, and I meant to do it the last time around. Let me just see real quickly. I can go back to stream or earlier on in the stream. Uh, All right, so the launch code was actually, um, to me, it looked like Morse code. And I don't know if um, 
I don't know if it means anything. It looks like it's three letters. I don't know if there's any reference at all. But I am just going to quickly have a quick look. See if there is anything to it. So um, let's do Morse code translator. I do. Okay, I, I don't know if it means anything, but if I look at the launch code, which was dash 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 dot dot dash dot, that just translates to MDN. So I don't know, I don't know if that has any relevance or anything, but you know, I was kind of interested to see um, what that actually stood for, to be honest. Um, I need to uh all right also um because you uh because you all love it so much where's my middle monitor keep going to that one That's all right so uh because you guys loved it so much oh my um do we, do we want to talk about this a minute Uh, if you wonder why it's uh, going so fast as well, it's because um, I tend to watch Twitch at um, double speed. So, uh, yeah. Just going to see. Is that going to put it in the right place? Yes, it is. Excellent. Signal identified is Grove Shard. Um. <laughs> Um, signal identified is Grove Shaft, so frequency discovered is quantum fluctuations. All right, well, while that's doing that, guys, I'm going to wrap up the stream because um, that's going to be about it for tonight. We're about out of time. So, uh, yeah, thanks a lot, guys, for hanging with me tonight. I really enjoyed um, the start of this actually i've really enjoyed it um can't wait to delve into it some more it's very mysterious very mysterious at the minute so um i don't fully kind of get my head around everything that's uh, going on but i'm sure we will get there within time and um there's a lot of exploration of course to, to go with this as well so um yeah i'll be really looking forward to coming around again to tomorrow night's stream where we can jump back in and do just just that just explore some more so uh thank you very much everybody for tuning in i really appreciate your support and i uh, hope to see you again tomorrow night thank you very much for death wish as always for the stream keys giveaways and uh, mika for the gift sub to leo or oh, everybody greatly appreciated but until next time guys i've been knock you've been awesome take care stay safe and until next time happy gaming thanks guys Bye bye